Okay, we're going to pick up where we left off. In the last video, we established that the old lawnmower can cut 136,000 square feet per hour in an ideal situation, and the new mower can cut 325,000 square feet in an hour in an ideal situation. So, moving on from here, the third bulleted point asks us to find out how long is it going to take at this speed to cut the uh, grass in the in the um, picture above. Well, um, in the lawn itself, so in the lawn itself, we're talking about 165,000, 25.29 square feet. And, you know, again, that was given to us from the, um, from Google Maps. That's the area that needs to be covered. And we know that this old lawnmower can actually cover 136,400 square feet per hour. Now, if you're struggling with unit conversions, you might think to yourself, well, what do I do with the numbers that are given to me on the website? Do I divide them? Do I multiply? Uh, what order do I multiply and what order do I divide? Well, again, that's where this T-chart comes into play. It's very helpful here. Uh, by starting with the amount that needs to be covered in square feet uh, and then placing our rate at which we can cover that in square feet per hour. Notice I had to flip this over. I had to put square feet on the bottom in order to get square feet to cancel in this t-chart. But writing them this way it becomes a bit more clear. It, it's uh, supposed to be the 165,000 divided by the 136 thousand. That's the order in which you should divide. And your end result is going to be a number in hours, length of time in hours. And after we divide those two, it looks like it's going to take, and I'm going to round this to two decimals, 1.21 hours. In an ideal situation, 1.21 hours to cut the grass with the old lawnmower. With a new lawnmower, We'll do the same thing, only this time that new lawn mower goes much faster, cuts a much wider path. This mower can cover 325,600 feet per hour. Let me start with the area of the yard first, so 165,000 feet squared. We could have gone in, in, a, in the opposite order, but it just makes a little bit more sense when we write it this way. Um, 165,000 uh, square feet needs to be cut, and we can take... Uh, care of that in, let's see here, 325,600 square feet. This should have been a feet squared in that last video. Square feet per one hour. So 165,025.29 square feet. Whoops, I already forgot. Need to cross out these units. Those are gone. Those are canceled. So 165 thousand hours divided by 325,600. And uh, no surprise here, this larger, newer mower can get the job done very, very quickly compared to the old one. It only takes 0.51 hours, 0 0.51 hours to cut this grass. All right, so uh, here we are. We know that Every time the grass needs to be mowed with the old lawn mower, it's going to take 1.21 hours to do the job. And in the, in the new mower, it's going to take 0 0.51 hours to do the job. So now we can figure out how much fuel is necessary to do this job. Well, uh, 1.21 hours of operation with the old lawn mower. And the old lawn mower can or will use... Uh, 2.5 gallons per hour. Now I almost screwed up here, uh, but remembering the rules of our t-chart allowed me to correct this mistake. Uh, gallons per hour. We've got to write it in this order so that the hours cancel, those units cancel, and when we multiply we'll obtain a final result in gallons. Now here again, some of these simple unit conversions, you may not need um, a t-chart to do them, but um, by using the t-chart, it's definitely uh, helpful in keeping our units well organized. So using the old lawnmower, it looks like 
it's going to take 3.025 or a gallon, sorry. So I'm going to round that to 3.03. 3.03 gallons of gasoline. In the new lawn mower, well, this is kind of interesting. It only takes 0 0.51 hours, and that machine only uses 0 0.9 gallons per hour. How about that? So now we're looking at 0 0.51, 0 0.51 times 0.9, and this machine only requires uh, 0 0.46 gallons of diesel fuel. Now if at any time you feel like you're ready to move on and start trying uh, the remaining questions on your own, please do so. Pause the video and, and see if you can finish these on your own. Come back and watch the video for, um, for my solutions. You can check my work or potentially spot any mistakes along the way. Uh, so the next point is we know how much fuel is used each time the grass needs to be cut. Let's go ahead and find out what the cost is. Now this is going to vary um, as time passes, but as of today, uh, we're talking April of 2020, we're in the middle of the uh, coronavirus uh, quarantine, uh, there's an oil price war going on outside. Gasoline at my local gas station is $1.43 per gallon. Oops, I almost did it again. Um, $1.43, so $1.43 per one gallon. So organized this way, I get the gallons units to cancel. And 3.03, 3.03 times $1.43 it would cost me four dollars and thirty three cents to cut the grass using that old lawn mower today four dollars and thirty three cents um, for diesel fuel on the other hand now that's going to cost a little bit more even with the um, the oil price war going on right now zero point four six gallons uh, it's cheaper than it has been recently but uh, diesel fuel still costs, at least at my gas station, $2.51 per gallon. Now this T-chart is set up so that we can cancel the gallon values, and gallon units I should say, and 0 0.46 times 2.51 is $1.15, so $1.15. So every time I need to cut the grass, I know that I'm spending $1.15 in fuel for the new mower where I would be spending $4.33 to run the old mower. And I forgot to note that this was the cost for fuel bulleted point. Uh, so now let's determine the savings. This is easy. Well, if I switch to the new mower, if we purchase the new mower, uh, $4.33 is what it would have cost in the old lawn mower. Let's subtract the cost in the new mower. No T-charts necessary here. We're now talking about a $3.18 savings. All right, so that's pretty appealing to save $3.18 each time I go out and cut the grass. Knowing that I've got to cut the grass a bunch of times every year, um, this is kind of appealing. Uh, I may want to go out and buy a brand new lawnmower in order to save each and every time I go out and cut the grass. So let's go ahead and see how long it's going to take for, for my savings to add up to the cost of that mower. Now this is going to disregard the savings that I might have in um, mower repairs or maintenance or upkeep because on a newer machine you have to do less than less on it uh, on an old machine you you're always uh, repairing and up upgrading so this is sometimes called a break even analysis and it's also sometimes called your return on investment or ROI.
I. So the return on investment, if I invest money into buying this lawnmower, how long is it going to take for that new lawnmower to pay for itself with its savings? Uh, a break-even analysis or ROI is done often uh, when purchases are being made for home or for business. Uh, if a water heater is old and um, consumes a lot of energy to heat water for your house, it may make sense to switch to a high efficiency unit, but it's going to cost a lot of money to do so. So a calculation, an ROI calculation is going to be real beneficial. Now this vi uh, video is getting kind of lengthy right now, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this here and finish up the break-even analysis in the next video.